from near the edge surface along a curved path and it acts only under the force of gravity. Now we're going to explain the problem. One feet kicks a ball with a velocity of 12 meters per second with an angle of 38 respect the horizontal. We want to know how far one feet is from Brian. The maximum height and the time it took to reach it. And the total time it takes from the starting point to the final point. Next, I'm going to explain the meaning of the symbols that we are going to use in the program. Okay. XO means the initial position, VO the initial position of the ball, theta will mean the launch angle, AX will be the acceleration in X axis, and AY the acceleration in the Y axis, VY the vertical velocity in the highest point. Now I will say the data that we know and the data that we don't know. The initial position is zero. The initial velocity will be 12 meters per second. The launch angle will be 38. The acceleration in the x-axis would be zero. The acceleration in the y-axis would be minus 9.8 meters over second squared. And the vertical velocity in the highest point would be zero. The zero means that that will be done. No. Before we continue, the zero I wrote means the missing data. Now we're going to explain the equations. The first one, you will get the initial velocity in each case. The second one, you will get the total distance in each case. The third one, you will get the final velocity in each case. Now the next step is getting the initial velocity of y by making this equation initial velocity multiply it by sine of the angle with our data we know that initial velocity is 12 meters per second and well and we are going to multiply it by the sine of 38 degrees ¿Cuál es la respuesta? 7.38, se me olvidó escribirse. Oye, oh, yeah. creo que es un doble. With this equation, we will have the. ¿Otra es 7.38? Sí. With our calculator, the result will be 7.38 meters per second. Now, with this equation, the next step is getting the time that the ball reaches its maximum altitude. The step that we're going to make is isolating time. Times equals to final velocity of y minus initial velocity of y divided by gravity, which is y acceleration. So, our data will be time equals to 0 minus 7.38 meters per second divided by gravity, which is minus 1.8 meters per second squared. Our result will be Time equals to 0.75 seconds. Now the next step is getting the maximum height. 
with this equation and with our data, we will calculate the maximum height of the ball when one pin throw the ball. With our data, this equation will be y equals to zero plus seven point thirty-eight meters per second times point seventy-five seconds, which is the time plus the half of y acceleration which is gravity minus 9.8 meters per second squared multiply it by time to the square point which is 0.75 seconds to the square by making this equation our result will be y equals to 5.44 meters now we're gonna get the initial velocity in x for this we're gonna use our data we know that initial velocity is 12 meters per second and the angle is 38 so we're gonna replace this data Okay, we're going to multiply 12 by the cosine of 38 degrees and the result will be 9.8 now we need the total time that the ball reached the ground. For this parabolic throw, it's like a mirror for free fall. So the distance, it took, the time it took to get the maximum height, there is 0.75 seconds. We are gonna multiply it by two, and this will be the total time that is. 1.5 seconds. Now that we have the time, we're gonna use this formula, this equation, for get x, that is the total distance between me and Quampi. So, x is equal to, x is equal to initial, initial distance plus initial velocity in x plus time plus one half of acceleration by time. So it will be x equal zero plus nine point forty five meters per second by one point five seconds plus one half multiplied by zero by 1.5 seconds to the square but uh, 1.5 seconds no uh, one half multiplied by zero is zero so this does, it does, doesn't make no sense so the result for this will be x equals 14.17 meters after all of this, now we have the conclusion that is that Pampi and Brian have a distance between them of 14.17 meters. Uh, the maximum height that the ball reached was 5.44 meters and it took point and it took point seventy five seconds to reach the maximum height. Then it takes a total of 1.5 seconds to the, to the ball to try all of this. And that's all. And this is our explanation for Paolo.